System Restore. How often do you access that function within Windows? It has greatly increased in its reliability and ability to give you reliable restore point should you run into a problem. I use it before installing any new pro programs, especially those programs that I don't know anything about. That way, if it turns out to be a total dud and I have no way of uninstalling it, at least I can rely on the restore point I created before installing that new program. System Restore is also quite cumbersome to get to. And if you're in a hurry and you want to install something new, there ought to be a better way. Let's go through the steps to get to System Restore. In most instances, you'll open Control Panel, then click on System Security, then click on System, and then finally click on System Protection. And that opens up where you can access a restore point or you can create a new one. You have to admit this is not exactly the easiest thing for something that you might use quite often. And let me show you what I have found and how easy it can be. The program is called Restore Point Creator. Let's put it on the system, accept the agreement, next, next, let's create a desktop icon, I can always put this somewhere else later. No hidden items, let's just install it. Click finish. As you can see, I now have a new shortcut on my desktop. And let's start the program and see how well it works. This is the user interface. We can check for updates. We can create a system checkpoint which means it does its own naming process. Or we can use the top line and we can create our own. Let's give it a shot. Remember, this didn't promise to increase the speed at which it creates a restore point. The program simply makes it much, much easier to get to the place where you can restore or create a restore point. It also has the ability to delete restore points. And that one's been successfully created. And it has shut down, so if we open it back up again, there's the one we just created. Now, we also have the other ability. Once you highlight one, you can select to delete that particular restore point. So if you only want to keep a few restore points on hand, save some hard drive space, Great little program and great little function within that program. I hope this helps.